Solemn tributes now to Atlanta's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., whose life was cut down by a coward's bullet. Today, followers and family pause to remember King's life and legacy 56 years after he was assassinated on a hotel balcony in Memphis. So the tears might fall, um, but now that we're strong on the inside, for sure. Today in Atlanta's Sweet Auburn neighborhood, the King family laid a wreath in honor of Dr. King and his wife, Coretta Scott King. Atlanta News First, Yasmina Alston has the story of loss and hope. The legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. lives on 56 years later, the family placing this wreath at the final resting site of both Dr. and Mrs. King. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. When that bullet went out, people thought that was the end, but they forgot that there were generations being born. And the generations to follow continue to spread the message of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. On Thursday, his daughter, Dr. Bernice King, was joined by family members to honor a man whose life was taken too soon. A wreath was placed for the civil rights icon. You know, this is just a very sad time for me. Um, and, and yet joyous. Um, sad, obviously, because uh, we've lost some heavyweights in our family over the last uh, over a nine month period. Um, and really missing their presence. Um, but joyous also because we are part of such a powerful legacy. Dr. King was assassinated on this day in 1968 while standing on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee. He was there supporting black sanitation workers who were on strike. Even though my father was assassinated, it's not the fact that he was assassinated. It's what assassinated him. You know, what he was doing when he was assassinated, what he was fighting for economically, um, for dignity, for workers. The work Dr. King did and the message he spread is one that won't be forgotten. We have to keep shining. That's what Dr. King, through God's vessel, would want us to do. Laverne Huey is an Atlanta native and says she is honored to have known Dr. King growing up around his family. She was one of many who came to see the wreath placement on Thursday. He's looking high down saying he's free at last. But the mission for us on this earth is to follow his lead and carry on. The remembrance for Dr. King will continue with other events at the King Birth Home and at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church through April the 9th. In the Sweet Auburn District, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First.